Hey. Hey what? You bet be from Hawkins. I need those crates moving. What crates? The ones full of artifacts? What else are we moving? Damn Hawkins. His workers should have delivered them by now. I knew it was too much responsibility for the old coot. What's in these artifact crates? Puppies. Artifacts, what do you think, genius? Everything that's dug up from the ruins gets crated up, but keep your mitts off them. If you're looking for gold, then do some work. You dig for the Don, then you'll get your share. I'll think about it. I've just arrived here. I'm not from anyone. Lazy more like. Bet you've never done a decent day's work in your life. So you're in charge of moving boxes, right? They're not just any old boxes. They're full of artifacts from the excavation sites. They get dug up, they come to me, and then they go to the Don. Oh, so you're not even moving boxes for yourself, then? When you get an important role here, then you can make jokes. Until then, shut your bleeding mouth. Let's talk sensibly. I can help you get your crates. <laughs> Think you can. All right, we'll get going and get them moving. No sense in asking if you know the magic word. What magic word? Here, you're not with that Inquisition lot, are you? I'll have no magical nonsense around here. Where are these crates you want moved? At the excavation site, but they should be here. I swear, those workers are being slack just to wind me up. You're going to spend your whole life hanging around. Stop where you are. You ain't going another step closer to the Don. Guarding. Guess that's a really important job. Most important in the camp. I make sure people don't just stroll in to see the Don. He's very against strolling in. And I'm not pissing Rachel off or I won't get any grub. So, move along. How do I get permission to speak to the Don? The Don is busy. He's thinking. Talk to his wife, Rachel. She's in charge. Right, I'll go and talk to her then. I ain't got no work for you. Go and see Sam or Hawkins and stop bugging me. to us. The market's saturated with artifacts. This stuff would have sold for a fortune on the mainland. How are we going to eat? All the farmers are in the town. Well, are going out. You look what? tired. And you look ugly. Piss off. What are you doing here? I'm admiring the view. Great view. That's why we get all these tourists. Ha! Huh. That and the friendly locals. Nice warm fire, this. Nice and safe. Brogar send you to get on my nerves. I'm just making conversation. And I'm just telling you to piss off. I really need to get out of this place. You can tell anybody, even if they don't want to listen. But you don't want to keep waving that thing around. around. Mm. 
You look relaxed. The busy mosquito is swatted at dawn. The happy snail does nothing but yawn. We're in a swamp. What's there to make an effort for? The Don just lets you relax. Never see him. Beppo's always chasing us to hump crates round. All that effort for what? A pile of old crap. Hawkins is my boss, and if Hawkins doesn't care, Beppo can go screw himself. And Hawkins doesn't care about anything. Right. A little more for me. Who are you? You here to relieve me? No. Huh. I've been waiting for Clay for hours. The sod should have relieved me long ago. What are you doing here? Are you standing guard? Yes, but I shouldn't be. I've been here so long, this godforsaken mud soaked through to my feet. Are you one of the fighters here? I am out here. When we were in the town, well, sleight of hands, more my thing. Combat's for boneheads. I have a few real skills. Sneaking, opening locks, picking pockets. Proper, honest skills. No violence needed. Sounds good. What are you guarding? The swamp farmer. Without him, this place would be bleak. Bleak-er. You don't like this place. Does this look like paradise to you? No taverns, no women, just swamp, disease, and mud. Thank the gods for the swamp farmer. At least he brings us our beer. What's here that's worth stealing? Not much, really. The problem's more those bloody animals everywhere. We could easily be overrun by wild boar, or worse. I'll see if I can find Clay. Bring him here! I've had enough of this. Yeah! 
That creature won't cause us any more trouble. temple guard wouldn't let me in. Do you think he'd invite you in for a beer? He's a guard, remember? He'd love to have something for the Don. A gift, information, something valuable. What sort of gifts? Oscar the Smith will tell you. He's helped a lot of people impress the Don. Oscar's good with gold. And as I say, the Don rather likes unusual things that glitter. The Don's wife, um, Rachel, seems tense about something. The Don put her in charge of this mess, and if she can't feed people, how can she control anything else? Brogar wants the Don out of the way. Proving Rachel useless only helps him. I heard something about pieces of a sword. A sword decorated with gold? Oscar's looking for pieces just like that. I also know that Brogar's got one, which you might say is something of an obstacle. I bet Oscar's tried to get it which means it won't be easy or cheap for you to persuade Brogar to part with it. True, but I'm sure this sword will get me in to see the dawn. If it glitters, it will catch his eye. Then getting the sword could get me in. You'll need all the pieces. Then you'd need Oscar to work his magic, if that's even possible. <laughs> and then you'll need Oscar to be willing to give the sword back to you. It's not an easy thing to do. None of it. I wonder where the pieces are. If they're all decorated with gold, people won't just give them away. Well, you know Brogar has one. You might like to check out the workers. They're in the middle of things. They see what gets dug up. And they're likely to keep some things quiet. When a man has nothing, a little is a lot. Can you teach me about hunting? Teach me the right way to sneak. Moving quietly is about balance. Put your feet down, toes first, Watch where you step in. Russian twigs underfoot can be noisy, give you away. So move slowly and watch your path. Who could teach me to pick locks? I don't care what the law says, it can't go on like this. Worst report yet, Spencer. Wouldn't believe it. Don wants this, the Inquisitor wants it.
saturated with artifacts. This stuff will sell for a fortune when we make that. How are we going to eat? All the farmers are in the town, no hunters are going out. New here, right? It's that easy to tell. Ah. Don's boys already got on your nerves, eh? They're just bored. No imagination, you see. What do you know about the Don? I know enough not to mess with him. We used to be out here all alone, until they swept in and took the place over. But stick to his rules and he's a good man, if a hard taskmaster. Working in the fields isn't easy, but it gets you away from people. Space to think. What do you do here? I tend the Brugelweed here on Robar's farm. It's not the most noble of plants, but it's versatile. You can brew beer with it. You can, should you be of a mind, smoke it as well. The smoke has special properties, if you know what I mean. Who is Robar? He's a salt-of-the-earth fellow. He farms this swamp. Well, this field. Can you sell me some weed, or beer? Surely can. And I have more to sell as well, if you're interested. What do you have to sell? Look, you've come for protection money. Protection money? Hmm. Maybe you just have that look. What brings you here? Is this your land? It's me that farms it. Then I use the Bruegel weed that grows here to make beer. What's Bruegel weed? They call it a weed, but it's not. Mostly grows in the swamp or along rivers. But you can find it most anywhere. Looks useless, but you can't get hops out here. Well, not cheap, you can't. And this stuff will do the trick. What can you tell me about the area around here? You haven't been here long, have you? Let's see. Well, the boys in the camp all work for Don Esteban. They're collecting everything they can find made of gold. The Don must have a fortune in that temple by now. Do you work for the Don? Me? <laughs> I've been on this farm all my life. One day, these ruins rise up out of the ground, all over the place. Then Don Esteban comes here. At least he keeps these creatures from the temple away. Where did the gold the Don's collecting come from? From those temple ruins, the ones that rose from the ground. They say there are treasures there, and creatures. Could you teach me to make beer? I suppose. If you have a basic knowledge of alchemy. But it would take you years to learn properly. Is your beer any good? There were those on the mainland who thought so. Barley man's export, they called it. Till the island was cut off. Every time you think you're getting ahead, life just drags you down. Which reminds me, the camp is waiting for a delivery. I don't suppose you'd be interested in dropping some bottles off for me? Why does everyone here see a new face and just assume I'll do jobs for them? Because you need people that will owe you favours. Favours? You never know when you'll need them. Take these ten bottles to Rachel, the camp cook. I need fifty gold coins for them, so I can pay my damn protection money. I 
I'm too busy right now. What? Because... All right. But one day I'll want to collect that favor. Of course. Here's the beer. And don't forget, 50 gold pieces. 50? Yeah, I'll remember that. Does the Don ask you to pay for protection? No. It is Commander-in-Chief. The one that trains his fighters, Brogar. He demands 30 gold coins a month, or he'll take away the guards that look after my farm. So someone's found a way to earn money from this swamp. Maybe I could help you gather some Bruegelweed. Well, it would save me some time. All right. But I need deliveries of 10 plants. I will give you 70 gold coins for every 10 you bring. I have some Bruegelweed for you. Good job. Here's your gold. I can always use more plants. There are plenty of people who like beer. If you find more, you know the price. I have some Bruegel weed for you. Good job. Here's your gold. I've heard that you trade with novices. I do, but visitors have been rare lately. I'm looking for magical items. Who told you to come here? I get it. None of my business. As it happens, I do have some scrolls to sell. Shouldn't you be standing guard by the swamp farm? Piss off. The fire might keep you warm, but some gold coins will keep you warmer. See, I was thinking hot, not warm. Add another ten and we're in business. Ten? All right, here's ten. Pleasure doing business with you. Consider that swamp. God is. You alone oh. out here? What? Are you alone out here? Yeah, yeah, don't yell, I'm deaf. You seen my, my full of beer glass thing goes smash if you drop it. You mean a beer bottle? That's why I said, you got bad hearing, you know that. The bottle was right. It was here, no, here somewhere. Shouldn't you be hunting? 
damn it, don't you start. Everything's going to hell, and I'm supposed to go hunting? No way! I'd rather sit here and have a little drinky dinky do. If you start hunting, I'll give you a beer. Nope! That'll mean I gotta move, and I'm not moving. <laughs> you do it. You're drunk. So, I'd rather be dead drunk than dead, and we're all gonna die soon anyway. You wait. When the white robe shows up, we'll all be as dead as... dead men. White robes? Yeah! The white robes. White! From the Inquish... Inquis... <laughs> Inquisition? Yeah! What do white robes want in a swamp? Huh? They'll end up brown robes. Ha! <laughs> Stinking swamp. Don't you think you've had enough? 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 Oh, uh, I can't drink enough. Have you been to the Don's camp? I can tell you once you've spent a couple of days there. You'll start on the source too, believe me. If you'd been there, you'd be me. Why? What's wrong with the camp? Bunch of total arsehole. Arsehole. Bastards. Always screwing each other over. I don't trust a single one of them. The worst bastard is Brogar. A nasty piece of... Uh, work. He's a bastard's bastard. Yeah. And what can you tell me about the white robes? They're everywhere. Uh, came from the sea, from the mainland, and now they're sweeping across the island, wrecking everything. Uh, have you ever met a white robe? Are you insane? Huh? Uh, I'd run like a stabbed rat if I ever saw one. I can believe it. Where's that damn bottle? It's my bottle. <laughs> Give it back, you stinking swamp. Tell me more about this Brogar. The whole damn place is under his thumb. A fishy. A fish. Officially? Fishly, yeah. Fishly, he's just the boss of the fighters. The Don's lieutenant. But he's more than that. Every man there's terrified of him. Even his shadow's scared of him. Because that Brogar, he wants to replace the Don, doesn't he? Yeah, <laughs> he does. Right. You seem to know a lot about Brogar. More than you think, and not just about Brogar. You get me more beer, and then I'll really tell you something. I get you more beer, and I'll be lucky to understand you. I'll see what I can do. Here, one beer for some information. Hey, 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 you got one. Ah, you're beautiful. So, why is everyone so afraid of Brogar? Ha! Ah, why do you think he's the strongest fighter in the camp? No one can beat him. Here, you're a hunter, or you were. Teach me something about it. Now you're talking. <laughs> when I got time, I'll do just that. I'm looking for some pieces of a sword blade, old, decorated with gold. They're everywhere. Everyone's got one. Well, not Hawkins. Or Jan. Or Rachel. Or Craig has one. I've seen it. It's quite big. And that moron has one as well. What moron? 
Dorgan, he's got a piece, moron. Of course, Brogar has one. You'd have to take him apart to get it. <laughs> and me, I've got one too. You have one. How do you think I can get Brogar to fight me in the arena? Uh, you can't be serious. Ha! He'll turn you into mincemeat and then dance on all the little pieces. <laughs> Just tell me what I need to know. The only thing that'll make a man like that come out of his shell, little shell, like a snail. <laughs> I like the snails, all silver trails in the moonshine. Like, mm, pretty. What will make him come out of his shell? Who? Oh! Yeah. Fear, isn't it? You know, fear of losing control. He wants control of the camp. If someone comes and takes control, that'll piss him off. He'll want to show he's boss. Grind them into the dirt all the way in. Head first. Pull their head off and, you know, down their neck. You try this or, or beat his fighters in the arena. That'll scare him too. Get him out of his shell. Right. Thanks. I'll give you a beer for the piece of sword blade. No way! What, what do you think I am, an idiot? It's easily worth two. Here, two beers. Beer! Beer! Ha <laughs> Here you go. Hmm. I don't have anything to ask at the moment. That's too bad. Get hunting, or I'll get unpleasant. Wait, wait, wait! I'm waiting. What? Right. Mm. You go and deal with these rats. They're over the... Oh, south of here. If you come back, I'll give you 30 cold groins. Mm. What do you think? You're a hunter and you can't deal with rats. Furry little bastards, look at you funny. Go on, you kill them and I'll pay you. What? What? Those furry little rats you were worried about. They won't be looking at you funny again. Hey, that was fast. You're a pretty good hunter. Here, 30 gold coins. That's only 25. Yeah? Oh, well, <clears throat> it's all I've got. I had 30 once. Now, the rats got to be gutted and the meat taken to the camp. You can do that. I'm feeling a bit, you know, tired. Yeah, you've had a hard day.
A little more for me. little more for me.
Ah! 